Good afternoon, YouTube. What a time to be alive it is. Today is Wednesday, and we are going to start on our cam swap. Behind me, we have all some of the parts uh, I'm going to use. We have a Stage 3 Texas Speed and Performance truck cam with a 216, 220 uh, overlap, whatever it is, and then a 110 LSA custom grind. Uh, we've got our valve holder, we've got the valve or the seal kit. And we've got pack 12 18s just in case we boost it. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we've got to take the hood off because you can't get anywhere in this car without the hood on. And so we're going to take that off. We're going to pull out the radiator and the fan. And we're going to attempt to do this in the car. So uh, stay with me. We'll see how it goes. All right, we are just waiting on the radiator to drain. We've got one of the hoses disconnected. We've got the radiator itself dislodged. And uh, as soon as that drains, I'll go ahead and I'll turn you back on and we'll pull the radiator. So, got the radiator out, there it is. If anyone is wondering how I did it, or how I, uh, this is a 98 or to O2 um, radiator from a Camaro. All I did was put some, move the tabs inboard and uh, made a little bracket that looks something like this. Right here we've got, uh, I think it's a one inch square piece of aluminum with some uh, holes drilled into it and it's just to space it out, otherwise the hood wouldn't close. Uh, this is the front of the car. If we look, if we're there, we will see if the cam will fit without pulling the whole motor out. And even with the water pump in the way, it looks like it's going to fit. So that's really good news for anyone considering putting an LS in and then deciding to do a cam swap. Personally, I would uh, recommend against that. Oh, I apologize for that. And I will, uh, I will kind of remove the water pump and we'll go from there. water pump is removed. I forgot that I still had a steam line and a few other things still connected. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but to, in order to get it to fit or the hood to close, I had to use a LSS Simple bracket. He actually designed these for the C3 Corvette. So if you are thinking of doing a swap, I'd definitely look him up. Um, let's see what else. Steam line is disconnected. Uh, We've got the battery. There's a big battery cable that runs there. We should be shouldn't cause any issues, um, and we should be ready to go in the morning. Uh, I can't do any more because I'm broke, and I get paid tomorrow. And first thing in the morning, I'm gonna go pick up the dampener bolt, and, or dampener puller, and uh, we'll move right ahead with the project. Before I go, I'm uh, gonna disconnect the coil pack, the truck coil pack on the passenger, or sorry, driver's side. I haven't done that one yet and uh, should just be a quick second job, save us a little bit of time in the morning when I can get everything else taken care of. Alright, here we go. Alright, there she is, that's how she sits. Right now we've got the coil packs off, water pump off, radiator out, we should have enough, more than enough room to get that cam out and uh, we should be ready to go in the morning and uh, I'll keep you posted. Good morning YouTube, it is now Thursday and we are going to finish up with the cam hopefully. Uh, I have a friend coming over who's going to help me uh, and before he gets here I have to clean up a little bit because it's disgusting in here. So next time I see you we should be starting on the cam.
right, first startup. Just listening to make sure there's no clunking. Nothing exploded.